Juan Sebastian, the man, the myth, the legend. The queen with the flowers. <laughs> Good to see you, man. To Can see I you give you a hug? I yeah, give you a hug instead. Of... <laughs> What's your name? Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wait, I'm gonna take. No, no stress. Juan Sebastian Torales. Yes. <laughs> Pleasure to have you here, man. You know, at first I was like, hmm, Juan Sebastian Verón. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you look alike, you know. Be it's not not because, because of I'm no, 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 no. I promise it's not. No, no. It's the same like facial structure. I, I saw your interview. You did. Um, I don't know what his name was, but he sounded like he had a German accent or something about the yeah. movie. Yeah, for the Teddy Awards. Yes, yes. exactly. I was uh, very my moved. First interview. Oh really? <laughs> about Alma Mula. Yeah, that okay. was my first. Wow. Oh yeah, about Alma Mula. I thought you said you meant your first interview ever. No, no, no. no, no. It's not my first ever. I was very moved how you mentioned that. You know, it's a very personal movie. Movie. Yeah, reviving those memories again. That can't be <laughs> the easiest <laughs> of tasks. And that's like when you said you started writing it eight years ago. Oh yeah, but you said you were in a good place when you started writing it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was settled. I was living the life I always wanted to live. Yeah. And I said, let's get in trouble again. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. <laughs> and, yeah. Making a film is big trouble. Yes. Yeah. And if it's a film about yourself, it's big, big trouble. Yeah. But now. I cannot explain how I feel. I feel so overwhelmed and yeah, liberate, liberated, liberated. Wow, yeah. Yeah. liberación, liberado, uh, liberado, completely liberado. Yes. Wow. Yeah. What year are you born? Sorry, oh, that's a secret. <laughs> no. 82. 82. Okay. Yeah. 41. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Looking good. Was quick. But I no. Looking good, and I haven't slept. I haven't slept. Since last night, I, I yeah. Night. Oh, you, you're a machine just going on. <laughs> because the reason I'm asking is because how long did it take for you to overcome like those things to get into that good place? It's been a long way. Yeah. I mean, I went through a lot of things, and it's gonna sound a little bit cheesy, but I always wanted to do a movie. Yeah. And when you have, a, you know, you have a, a goal, the rest is just uh, yeah nothing. It becomes nothing. All the obstacles are nothing. If yeah. you don't have money, it's nothing. You have a goal, and if you have a goal and you have the strength... If you started writing it years, eight years ago, when you, did you start recording the film? March this year. No, last year. Last year, yeah. Last year, March, yes. And <laughs> lost in time. No, that would be... This year? Yeah, uh, no, this year but this is the no crazy. sleep that is talking about. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, I'm traveling a but, lot. Yeah, I can understand. Thank God. Did you imagine it would have, like, the kind of reception that is it has gotten? The film? Never, no. never. I have to say, it was a very selfish project. I never thought about the audience, I never no. thought about the... I was really doing a healing process. Yeah, spiritual almost. Very, like. yeah, mystical, spiritual, ecological. I was... that I thought it, they were not working well in me and yeah. with my past and... Yeah, it was very selfish as a, as a writing process, as a... But I had the chance to work with a team of producers that gave me 100% Freedom, freedom to do yeah. whatever I wanted and not to think about who will watch it, what kind of film will be. I love it because it's an, an experiment. But it's not a horror film, it's not a drama, it's not a fantasy. No, you it's like genre hybrid. movies, but it was, this was, yeah, not a... Yeah, yeah it's I a know. hybrid. I didn't want it to put a gender on the film and... No, but the reality is that you say selfish, but first of all, I gotta say, obviously the reality is the most healthy thing in life is to put yourself your well-being your first yes and secondly like yeah your soul exactly but secondly isn't like what you literally just did with this movie like not caring about the audience just letting your soul lead the way it's probably the best thing to do to achieve something unique and something yeah. real authentic yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah of course and and everything the rest all the rest the awards and the it's just an extra yeah. it's a bonus yeah so it's more joy for you yes yeah it's, everything is uh is and actually when i finished the film and when I started showing it to, to the audience yeah. I realized that a film is like your your child yeah and that you took care of him during eight years for example yeah My, yeah, yeah yeah you have an eight-year-old son or daughter yes. <laughs> yeah and now I send it to the world and he's spreading his message and everything yeah. that I put of myself on him, so I'm... Yeah, that's beautifully put. I'm very proud of my child. So the name Alma Mula, Alma Mula. Yes. Where does it come from? Because I was trying, because I know it has, I know the meaning behind it in the movie, but this like monster, like did you just make it up? What is it, is in no, some no. like book, biblical or like No, what this is, I come from the cradle of folklore in Argentina and culture. And we have a lot of legends and tales around the forest. Okay. That surrounds the city. Yeah. And this monster was created a long time ago to punish all those people who have committed a sexual sin. 
Yeah. As every legend, it was created by the church yeah. and uh, trying to to try to put people on the right way. Yeah. And it's well known in Argentina. It's well known in Santiago del Estero, in, in the north of Argentina. But I know I didn't make it up. It, it exists, and and actually everyone is making jokes about the Amamula. Yeah. Everyone is telling you're a bit of an Amamula. Oh, you know? re okay. Yeah. Holy if shit. you are, if you have a free sexual life, I mean, you can be an Almamula. Yeah. Actually, we the premiere was two months ago in yeah. my city. Yeah. And he stayed like six weeks in the movies. Wow. Because it's something that is in yeah. everyone's mouth. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's so, like a cultural reference, Almamula. Yeah. yeah. As you take, if you take someone very famous here and yeah. you need to do a joke with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you make the movie about this person, everyone will see it. Yeah. I don't know. What city was it that you grew up in? Uh, Santiago del Estero, in Santiago. the north of Argentina. And a lot of woods and forest there? Or what is left, because what is left, that's, yeah. that's uh, what the film about is yeah. also. It's about, I put the forest in the place of a minority too, as LGBT yeah. community, yeah. as indigenous people. Yes. And I put nature also as a minority, as something that human beings are destroying. Are you um, a man of nature? You I am, yeah. I grew up in that forest. Yeah, so wow. I'm a man from the forest. A man from I the forest. Tell. Wow, <laughs> that sounds very like grandiose. Yeah, very cool. But I like. Should be your next I movie, like, like a super, like the man of the forest. <laughs> In your youth, were you, had, did you have supportive parents? I had silent parents. Silent parents. Yes, yeah. because they were very. Not they were shaped by, by, of course, Catholicism. Yeah. And religion. They did what they could. They. They're from another generation. I yeah. cannot. No, no, no. Tell them to be open-minded. They did what they could, and I am so grateful for. for for the parents I have. Uh, my mother saw the film. Yeah. What did she think? She loved it. She told me she, it was a piece of art, so I was Whoa. so happy. <laughs> yeah, a parent's approval is. <laughs> but the mother looks a little bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> was that intentional? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 no, that was unconscious. Everything in this film is unconscious. Yeah. Let's say. <laughs> so bits just fell into place, basically. Mm. And the, you, you talked about as well the boy playing Nino, how it was like 2,000 people who casted for that role. Yes. And he was one of the first, and you just. Uh, he was the third one. Third one. Wow. Yes, and he arrived. He's like this beautiful freak. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful changes, freak. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That changes. No, freak in a good sense. It's, being a freak is the best thing. Yeah, yeah. And he he changes the, the the energy of the room when he comes in. It's amazing. When it comes to like the style of directing for this movie, where did that influence come from? Do you have like any of inspirations that you've drawn from growing up, like directors or? You know, as part of this experiment that I was talking about, this film, I almost wrote it with my psychologist, with my therapist. Wow. So it's like I started the therapy and I started writing and like it was like a projector that turned on in wow. my head and, and started sending images from that part of my life. And everything you see in Amamula are like uh, nightmarish frames of my childhood. Oh. One picture, another picture, another picture, and then I I gave it a touch, a dark touch or a horrorish touch, and that's Almamura. Yeah, you're a brave man. <laughs> Honestly, no, this is like the wow. When does it premiere in Sweden? Uh, in January, I think. In January, okay. Yeah. So in about one one and a half months. Yes. Wow, I'm looking forward to this. Now exactly uh, <laughs> that I have all the back information, like I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm completely set. No, but genuinely I believe like this is uh, because the movie saved my life, like literally. And hearing you talking about this experience of making the movie like this, it's genuinely, it's very moving to hear because like this is what film always was supposed to be for me. Like when I was going th some, through some of the worst moments in my life, literally the only thing I had to fall back on that lifted me up, gave mm. me some kind of hope. They, sh they give you shape. Yeah, yeah. Movies are... And the fact that you like, literally, as you said, cleansed your soul. And I don't know, I, I find it so beautiful. I, honestly, it's, it's, it's genuinely inspiring for me to hear this as well. And I'm so glad that you, because of course the accolades and all, all of the external things, it's just the bonus, as you say. Of course. But being here with you is an amazing bonus. You know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> and the, another really, thing I learned is yeah. that the next one, it won't be about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you're done sure. with that part. <laughs> yeah, sure. Nice, nice. Okay, good, good. All right, we have arrived as well, apparently. Ah, okay. This was short, but so inspirational for me. <laughs> On, genuinely, I really mean it. I'm not just saying that. I've, I've really glad to hear you sharing these things with no, me. No, no, it's okay. But it was not it was not dramatic. Huh? I had a nice childhood. Yeah. Just 
I, I, I had no chance. I, I knew what violence was. Yeah. But then I, I went through it, and I'm, I'm okay. You're a better person yeah. for it. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Pleasure. I hope you get some sleep tonight as I well. I will. Yeah. I will. I will. Thank, Thank you very much. Care. All the best. And hope to see you soon. You too, brother. Maybe Thank in you. Paris, because you, par you parle français aussi. Ah, tu parles français? Oui, mon ami. Okay. Oui. But tu viens à Paris, tu me dis, tu m'envoies un message. Oui, oui. 100%. Okay. okay. Thank you. Au revoir. Bye. Ciao.